Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a look at some things from Aldi. Now, I just went in there to get a gallon of milk. Seriously, I went in there, but I, I've learned in the past to get a cart, no matter what I'm going in there for. If I'm just going in there for a gallon of milk or some bread or whatever, I always get a cart because it never fails. I always manage to find other stuff. And it's kind of funny because I was walking around in the store and this poor lady, I've been there, I, I feel I feel for her because I've done this, like she's just loaded down with all this stuff and she's struggling to hold it all. And she goes, dang it, I need a cart. <laughs> I just laugh because I've, I've been there. Like you go in for one thing and you come out with 47 things. Oh my gosh, I've done that so many times. So anyway, I did get my milk. It's put away. Um, oh, actually, I had one more thing put away. I have to show you this. <laughs> I got these cat treats at Aldi. The cats love them, but with Olive, you have to make sure you don't leave these out because, and I, I caught her in the middle of this, she'll chew it, like she tries to bite it to open it, and I have all these little bite marks. So I actually just put a piece of tape over it. I just covered, and it looks like she only has them on the back, but I just covered it with a piece of tape to keep it from going stale. These are from Seafood, I'm sorry, Heart to Tail, which that is an Aldi brand. Cat Treats Seafood Medley Flavor. And Olive loves these things so much. I have to hide them from her. She is currently trying to figure out how to open the cabinet where the treats are in the kitchen. It's airplanes again. It's a beautiful day and everybody with their little cub cadets are out there. Out, they, they fly around up here. It's... It's crazy. You hear little airplanes all day long. But she's trying to figure out how to open the cabinet that I keep these in. She's so smart. Um, oh, I have another thing to show you that she loves. But it's it's a weird thing, but I'll show you in a minute. These are little seafood medley treats, cat treats. Um, it's a three ounce packet, and they don't have any wheat in them. No BHA or BHT, no wheat or soy, and they're two calorie treats. And uh, Pumpkin is not crazy about these. There's really only one cat treat she likes. Um, it's from, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's um, Dairy Flavor. That's the only one she likes. The rest of these, you put it on the floor and she looks at you like she's insulted, like she just won't eat them. <laughs> so anyway, she grabbed this packet off the table and ran away with it in her mouth and tried her best to get away from me. She tried to go upstairs with it. And I caught her and took it away from her. <laughs> she is something. So, yeah, she she tried to chew it up, but I got it away from her. She had not quite gotten to this one yet. The seafood medley was the one she got out of the bag first. I had my little tote bag of groceries sitting here. And this one she hadn't quite gotten to yet. There was something on top of it. But they love these, too. These are chicken flavor. And they really like these. They're really nice. They're just like other brands of cat treats. They have that crunchy outside and then they have a creamy center. They just have cat stuff that they like. I don't know. It's chicken flavor. Chicken flavor. I don't know that there's actually any chicken in it. But every now and then I'll give them just a few of these and they love them. And they have a resealable top up here so you can keep them fresh. You just zip it closed. And they have these little notches here where you can tear the top off to open it. So usually you don't need scissors. It tears pretty easily. So I thought that's funny. She ripped it open. Now I do have a few items here. I have a couple of items from Aldi that I really wanted to show you first. And I have some items here from other stores that I wanted to show you. I went to several stores yesterday and I bought several things. And I wanted to show them to you because they're things that I really like. This is one thing in particular. Now this is not sold at Aldi. Um, I think I actually got this at Walmart. But you could get it in other, other stores as well. Now I wash all of my dishes by hand. Not because I think it's better or whatever. I just That's just the way I prefer to do it. I, I, I have a dishwasher here. I've lived here three and a half years. I've never even tried to see if it works. I use it for storage. I put stuff, I store stuff in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, but this is Palm Olive, Ultra Palm Olive Soft Touch. 
It's almond milk and blueberry scented. And it smells so nice. I really love it. And I love the color. Look at the beautiful color of this dishwashing liquid. Um, I discovered this back a few months ago when I could not find the kind that I normally like. Dawn makes this pomegranate flavored dishwashing liquid. Um, it's, it's Dawn Ultra or something like that. And it's pink and it's pomegranate. And I love it because it smells nice and it keeps my hands from getting dried out. They don't feel dry after I wash the dishes. But for several months, I couldn't find it. Nobody had it. They were out. And um, so one day I saw this and I thought I would try it. It's supposed to keep your hands nice and soft and um, it really does. And it's not very expensive. You can get a container like this. This is 20 ounces of this almond milk and blueberry scented dishwashing liquid for about $2 at Walmart. I think it's $1.97 or it is here anyway. And you have a little flip top up here that you pop open. It's a little bit runnier than the Dawn Ultra, but as far as I can tell, it works just fine. You put it in the water and it kind of makes the water cloudy and purple. <laughs> it's really great and it foams really well. I really like it. Now Dawn makes this other dishwashing liquid that I've wanted to try, but they've been out now for about six months. I haven't been able to find it. It's green tea. It's, it's a green tea dishwashing liquid. There's a spot for it. And when they first put the spot on the shelf, they had some and I didn't get it. I thought, well, I don't really need any right now. Um, I'll get some later. Well, they never had it again. And that was, that was back in probably June or July and I haven't seen it since. There's still a spot for it, but it's just they just don't have any. I really want to try it though. But this is Palm Olive Soft Touch Ultra Palm Olive, and I really love it. If you haven't tried it and you want to try it out, you can either get this size or if you if you have a Dollar Tree nearby, they have the little bottles of it at our Dollar Trees anyway, and you can get a little bottle of it for a dollar if you want to try it. Because even a little bottle lasts quite a while. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that I had it out because I had all of my, all of my shopping was out and I just wanted to show you that and this too. Mm, this is one of my favorite things. Now, several people have asked me to do a Lidl haul, you know, go to Lidl, buy some stuff. Um, but honestly, I'll be honest with you. This is really about the only thing I ever buy there. This is the best thing though. This is one of my favorite things right here. As far as like food goes, oh my goodness. I eat one of these every morning. These are bagels. They are Lidl blueberry bagels. Now look how big they are. Ooh, there's a sticker on there. 101, I don't know what that is. That must have been on there when I bought it. I don't know what it is. Okay. They are pre-sliced. Look how big they are. Now here, anyway, you can get a bag of bagels like this. It's 20 ounces. It's only $1.45 for six big bagels. And this will last me about a week. And I love them. I eat one every morning. Now, unlike Love and Fresh from Aldi, you will see that the top of this bag looks different. They have little stalks of wheat up here with a white background. We have yellow and brown stalks of wheat. Very nice. And instead of a, a bread tie, a little twist tie, we have this little plastic tab right here. The clip's on there and it gives you the Best Buy date on there. Best Buy, January 15th. And up here, you'll see a sampler. You see all these little dots? All these little dots on the bread package. These are all the colors used in this packaging. It's a little dot for each color that's used. And it's kind of fun to look through here and try to figure out where they're all used. Like we have several shades of pink on these dots. I don't even see pink on this bag. But I don't know. Apparently it's used in here somehow. Maybe it has something to do with that red and white checkered tablecloth. I don't know. But these are so good. Now let's see what they have to say. No high fructose corn syrup, uh, no synthetic, no certified synthetic colors, and no trans fat. 
These are, I believe, the best bagel I have ever tried out of a bag on a shelf in a store. They're better than all these, I have to say, they're, be they're better than all these bagels. And I will go out of my way to go to Lidl just to get these because I love them so much. I'll get like three bags at a time because I don't go there very often. But I love these. Now, with Lidl's bread, it's just like Aldi. You will find that they come in thicker plastic bags, which is really nice because, you know, a lot of store brand bread comes in that really thin plastic that tears so easily and it'll get little holes poked in it. And wherever you have a little hole, you'll have a dry spot on your bread. And you may not even notice it until you get it home. And if you're like me, by the time I get it home, I'm not going all the way back to the store to exchange it. It's just too much trouble. You know, for a loaf of bread, I might have paid a dollar for. Um, I'd probably spend more on gas just taking it back. But, you know, with the thicker plastic, that doesn't happen as often. I've never had that with anything from Aldi or Lidl. I've never had a hole in any of their bags, so it's great. But if you ever do, they have a double your money back guarantee just like Aldi. If you don't like it, you get your money back and they replace the item, which is great. I'm definitely not returning these. If you like bagels and you've not tried theirs and you have a Lidl nearby, I highly recommend it. Even their cinnamon raisin. I went in there one day and they were out of blueberry bagels and I thought I was going to cry because I'm kind of addicted to them a little bit. This right here is why I can't go back to low carb. I just, I cannot give these up. They're just, they're that good. I wanted to cry a little bit because they were out of blueberry one day, but um, I just went ahead and got cinnamon raisin bagels, which I'm not crazy about, honestly. I've never been a big fan of raisins and bread. Um... I'm not a big fan of raisins in general. I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't really like them. But the, even the cinnamon raisin bagels are good. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't even like cinnamon raisin stuff. <laughs> They're good. They're actually very good. They also have plain and everything bagels, but I have not tried those. So I cannot speak to those. But if these are any indication, I bet they're very good. I'll sit here and talk about these bagels all day. You probably don't want to hear me do that, so I'm going to put them away. I'll show you that in a minute. Hang on. Now, this I don't know anything about, but I thought it was interesting. These are thermosoles, battery-heated little insoles, anti-freezers. Love bad weather. I don't think I will ever love bad weather. I got this for my dad's wife because she has trouble with her feet get really cold. And she uses toe, you know, the uh, hot hands toe warmers. But I thought if she could try this, this might be a more economical solution to the problem. I don't know. Thermosels, they're from Spring Yard. And you can use a battery, you use ba a battery in here to heat them. And them. Um, I, you know, you could get some rechargeable batteries or whatever, but I'm thinking this would be cheaper than using the toe warmers, which over time get kind of expensive. But it looks like they also have thermo mittens, thermo socks, and then the thermo soles, which are lo we're looking at here. They're battery, yeah, battery operated. Keeps your feet warm and operates with batteries. And pre increases blood circulation. Makes winter activities more enjoyable, and they have a comfortable fit. But they had these at Ollie's. I was in Ollie's looking for a blanket. My son, my younger son, wanted. Um, I have this blanket on my bed that has a Sherpa lining under it, and it's really soft, and has a velvety top. And he wanted a blanket like that. And I had seen some in Ollie's before, and I, so I went in there to get him a blanket. And I spotted these while I was in there. Now, it looks like the regular price of these is $39.99, but they had them for $15.99. So I thought I would get this for her to try just to see if she if she likes it. I mean, it might be cheaper just to use these than to keep buying toe warmers because you can only use them once and then you have to you get another one. So that was just something I thought was interesting. Now, here is an item. Look at this. It's a lint roller extra sticky lint roller. I get these at Dollar Tree. Now, they don't have them all the time. You kind of have to look for them, and they're back in the laundry section where they have things like um, clothes pins and stuff like that. Anything for laundry. 
they usually have them with that stuff. These things are fantastic. It's, I, I discovered something very funny yesterday. Okay, so I like the X, they have regular and extra sticky. I would definitely go with the extra sticky because they are about twice as sticky as the other kind. And you get 30 sheets in here for a dollar and they are wonderful. I, I use these things. I have them upstairs and downstairs. With three cats, I'm constantly using a lint roller on something. Now I do have one of those lint rollers that has like the the suede grippy stuff on it. You know, you can clean it off and reuse it. But I find with cat hair, they just don't work very well. Like it doesn't grab the cat hair. This totally does. You run this over, it'll get every piece of cat hair. Oh, it's amazing. It's so fast and so cheap. And they come with this little, little handle here. It's a little green handle. But I discovered something about these yesterday that was so funny. I have to do a video and show you this sometime. It's hilarious. Okay, so I was, um, I have one on the shelf above my washer and dryer and I was getting ready to go run some errands and I got it out and I was running it over my pants and Olive came running in the room and she starts just frantically grabbing like I'm running it. She grabbed, she scratched my leg. I thought she was trying to play like she was just, I, I was irritated like, what are you doing? Why are you scratching me? Well, I, it was about... I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I was just playing and I ran this lint roller over her and she seemed to like it. She wanted me to use it on her. She wasn't trying to play with me. She was trying to get me to use it on her. She loves to have a lint roller back and forth. She doesn't care if it, it, it does her hair backwards. She doesn't care. She loves to be lint rollered with a sticky lint roller. Oh shoot, she just, you could do it all day. She loves to be lint rollered. It is the funniest thing. She reacts the way she reacts when you give her catnip. She just goes crazy when you do it. She loves it. And if you stop, she'll start grabbing at it and rubbing on it and trying to bite it. Like, don't stop. Keep doing that. So I don't know if you if you have cats or even a dog. If you've ever tried this, I don't it didn't it doesn't seem to hurt her at all. It kind of it, it grabs, it doesn't pull the hair out, I guess unless it's loose, but it doesn't really pull hard. And you know, after you go over them a time or two, it hardly even does that. She loves it. She loves to be lint rollered. Just like this. Like if this is her back, you just do like that. Oh, she loves it. She lo you could do it all day. So any if she hears me messing with the lint roller, she comes running. She's actually upstairs asleep right now, so she can't hear me, but oh my gosh. She loves this. And my other two cats are they're like, what are you doing? They have no interest in it at all. They don't want you touching them with a lint roller, but she, Olive is so weird. She is so weird. She has the biggest personality, but she, oh, she loves to be lint rollered. So anytime, now, anytime she hears me get the lint roller out, she comes running. I can't even, I can't even use the lint roller anymore. I have to use it on her. But then if I stop and try to use it on myself, she goes crazy. I have to go in another room and shut the door to use a lint roller. And she's just at the door doing this. She's addicted to it. She loves it. <laughs> it is the craziest thing. When I did it, just playing around, I said, well, let me just go to the source and get the hair off of you. And I, I thought she'd freak out, but she was just kind of like, ooh. <laughs> she looked at me like, what are you doing? But she thought it was great. She just, she starts squirming around and oh, she likes it. It's, she's weird. I love her to death, but she's weird. Oh, and I, I wanted to show you this. I just, um, off the lint roller now, back to Aldi. I just grabbed these out of the refrigerator to show you. This is, this is in the refrigerated section at Aldi, and I got some of this yesterday for the first time. And um, it's Pico de, Pico de Gallo, and it is so good. This is the to tomato flavor. They have another one, and I can't remember now what it was. Mango, I think it was mango. I just got the tomato flavor. Oh, it's, it's really, it's really good. It has Roma tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, red onions, lime juice, and cilantro. And it's so good. And it wasn't much. I think it was about $2. It's very, very good. I'm going to pop it back in the refrigerator in a second. But I also wanted to show you my favorite salsa. This is also in the refrigerated section at Aldi. This is their um, mild, fresh cut salsa. They also have medium. I like the mild. 
um, and you have to keep it in the refrigerator. It's from Park Street Deli. That's one of the Aldi brands. Yep. And it's, it's, oh, it's so good. This is my favorite salsa ever. <laughs> and I like to eat it with Big Dippers, which we'll look at in a minute. So you can get a bag of these for 85 cents. And right now, the mild fresh cut salsa is on sale for only $2.19. $2.19 for this 16 ounce container of salsa. And it's, it's so incredibly good. Now they do have other jarred salsas on the shelf that are cheaper, but I don't like them as much as this one. It's really good. Um, let's see. A serving size is two tablespoons. It has five calories in it and one gram of carbs and quite a bit of sodium. Don't read it too carefully. This is a little bit more soupy than it normally is. It's, but it's a little, I love it because it's a little bitty cut up pieces of tomato in there and onion and cilantro and it's really, really yummy. I'm gonna go pop these in the refrigerator. I don't wanna leave them out too long. And then, and I think that's everything I had to show you from other stores, from other places. And then we will get into all of this, which came from, from Aldi. Okay, like normal, we're going to, I'm going to try to start with the crinkly stuff first. And like I mentioned a minute ago, we have big dippers. I cannot keep these in this house. I'm telling you, everybody here loves these things. They're so good. And here you can see the window is open and it's kind of in the shape of one of the big dippers. It's a tortilla chip that's shaped like a little bowl. Well, maybe a bowl made by a drunk person. I mean, it's not a perfect bowl. It's just kind of, you know, it's like smushed. They're perfect for, for dips or salsa or anything like that. Now these are from Clancy's. You can see the logo up here in this red oval. Clancy's is an Aldi brand. And they make all kinds of chips and crackers and snacks, and they're all good. And um, this is, I think this is probably one of the favorites here in my house anyway. We use these for all kinds of things. Sometimes I'll make beefy nachos um, or the salsa. You know, we'll have the salsa in there. I'll do like a cheese dip or something like that or the pico de gallo, which I like. My kids don't really like it. I, I think it's good. Um, guacamole, which I love. And again, my, ki my kids don't like guacamole. I think it's good. They also have really good guacamole at Aldi, but I don't have any right now. It's really good. So this container here, this is a 10 ounce bag of tortilla chips. And they're so wonderful. And the good thing about them being kind of a bowl shape or a squished shape is that if you have like some jars of salsa I find are kind of like the opening is kind of small and if you're eating it right out of the jar like I totally do when nobody's looking I don't put it in a separate bowl I just eat it right out of the jar because usually I'm the only one eating it anyway but they won't fit in the jar but these will because they're smushed it's fabulous so if you don't know what the tor what if you don't know what a tortilla chip looks like you can look in here in this little window and you can see them in there and they're yummy and you can get a bag like this for about 85 cents at least at my Aldi. Now I have seen them for about a dollar 25 in other Aldi's but my Aldi is really cheap <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. They're cheaper than every other Aldi around here which is saying a lot um, but they're kind of like Tostitos scoops. I mean that's basically what they are. They're just called Big Dippers instead of Scoops because Scoops is trademarked and you can't use that name. You have to call them something else. So they're Big Dippers Tortilla Chips. Great for digging in. And look at all the pretty blue on this package. That is a nice royal blue up here. It's very pretty. Down here you have several shades of blue. It's almost like camouflage on the side of the bag. It's very nice. And the good thing about all the Aldi brands, they have the twice as nice guarantee. And I have used that before. As I've mentioned, if you get a product and you don't like it, they will give you your money back and replace it with a comparable product. It's wonderful. Like one time I bought some uh, canned cat food at Aldi and I got it home and I opened it and it had gone bad. Like I guess the seal on the can was not good. I mean, I didn't know until I got it home and I opened one and it, it was bad. 
So I took the cans back. They gave me my money back for all, all the cans and gave me all new cans of food. They replaced them all and gave me my money back, which was, I thought that was pretty great. <laughs> so that's the Big Dippers. Okay. But we have other Clancy snacks over here as well. And uh, we have two other Aldi brands of snacks. Now I did just go in there to get milk. This is not all we're gonna eat this week. <laughs> I just bought it because I was already there. Now here we have, these are like Doritos, obviously. You will notice with Aldi stuff, they kind of make the packaging look like the product that they're imitating. You can tell these look like a bag of Doritos. If you don't know what Doritos look like, we have a Dorito shaped window here on the bag. And you can see that these are nacho cheese flavored naturally and artificially flavored tortilla chips and they to me i can't tell the difference to me they taste exactly like doritos um i think they're really good and these this is an 11 ounce bag and again they're from clancy so you can see the seal up here now it doesn't have a ziploc seal or anything but i keep a bunch of clothes pins in a drawer in the kitchen so all you have to do is just roll it down and put a just I just clip a clothes pin on it. You can go to uh, you know like Dollar Tree and buy 20, 25 clothes pins for a dollar. It's it's a lot cheaper than buying chip clips. I have really bad luck with chip clips. It seems like every basically every type of chip clip I've ever bought broke not long after purchasing it and not because we're handling it roughly. They just don't seem to work. They're cheaply made or something. But I once I started using clothes pins, I just stuck with that because they just clip right on there and they work perfectly well and they're a lot cheaper and they don't break like the plastic chip clips do. So anyway, that's how we keep them sealed. So at my Aldi, again, I am so lucky because you can get these for a dollar seven. No, I'm sorry, 75 cents per bag at my Aldi. At other Aldis, they, they usually run about a dollar 25, but at mine, they're 75 cents a bag which is fabulous. This is an 11 ounce bag of tortilla chips and they taste exactly like Doritos, which are way more than 75 cents. So that's another favorite here, but I find that we eat the big dippers more than we eat stuff like that um, because they go with everything or you can just eat them by themselves. So that was the nacho cheese flavor and we also have ranch flavor. Look at that. Oh, I love this package. It's so beautiful. Look at the blue on here. It's kind of down here. It's like a Carolina blue. It's like today, the sky outside, there's not a cloud in the sky, and it's this beautiful blue like this. I love the way the sky looks in the wintertime. It's not hazy. It's not humid or anything. And you just get this beautiful, clear blue sky. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like that out there right now. And then up here, you have the, the Flavor Ranch. And Clancy's the name up here. And behind the A, it's just kind of lighter back here for some reason. And you have the pictures of the chips on here. And again, you have that window where you can look in there and see the chips. Then this is also an 11 ounce bag of chips and they are only 75 cents. And again, the, we don't eat as many of these. They'll hang around for a while. Honestly, what ends up happening with these because we don't eat we don't eat them as often so they stay clipped eventually some kid will eat some out of the bag and not close it back up properly and then they go stale you can pop them in the oven and kind of freshen them up a little bit but sometimes I there'll be like this much in the bottom and I just I just pitch them because they're just stale but I mean they're only 75 cents so it's you know we eat most of them so again you have this seal up here it's just heat sealed what they do is they crimp this in a heated crimper. It's like a crimping iron for your hair. I can remember when that was really popular in the 80s. I had a crimper and I crimped my hair. And I thought I was just the, I was a fashion plate with my crimped, ridiculous looking hair. I thought it was cool. But they basically use something like that to heat seal these bags closed. And you have your nice little ranch flavored chips. And again, I can't tell the difference between these and Doritos. To me, they taste just like the Cool Ranch Dorito chips. They taste exactly the same. 
probably made in the same place. Let me put this over here. Okay, I'm trying to do the crinkly stuff first. Now this I have never tried, but I saw it and I wanted to try it. Now, Simply Nature is another Aldi brand right here. Uh, Simply Nature, they make they have a, a surprising amount of organic items at uh, at Aldi. If you've never checked it out, they have organic produce, they have organic organic canned food, frozen food, uh, meats. They have all kinds of things that are organic. They they really have a nice selection. Now this appears to be organic, non-GMO, USDA organic, white cheddar popcorn. And I was just kind of in the mood for some popcorn, and I was walking by, and I saw this. Down the, now, this is more expensive because it's organic and, you know, all that good stuff or whatever. But uh, it's a four-ounce bag. But again, it's popcorn, so it's lightweight. It only has 40 calories per cup, 15 grams of whole grains per serving, and it's gluten-free. I just wanted to try some different popcorn. I've never tried this kind. And I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't much. I think it was like $1.79. But I thought I would give it a shot. But yeah, they have several different types of organic snacks. They, um, I think they even have organic gummies, like little packs of fruit snacks and stuff like that. I think they do. But yeah, so Simply Nature is a name that you're going to see on a lot of different items in there. And whenever you see it, it's going to have this leaf shape to it. And the little leaf here over the eye... And it, it, it always looks like this, which is nice because it helps you pick out the organic stuff if that's what you're looking to get. You can spot it very quickly in any section. You're just going to look for that logo right there that says Simply Nature, and there you go. I thought I would try some white cheddar popcorn. I think they had a couple other flavors, but this one, I don't know, I just wanted something kind of salty and cheesy, so we'll see how that goes. And I think this is the last snack item I have for my shopping trip that was only supposed to be for milk. At least I didn't forget the milk. I've done that before. I'll go in a store to get one or two things and I come out with a bunch of stuff and I forget what I went in there for. I did get my milk. It's in the refrigerator. Um, these, I had never tried these before about a month ago. My younger son loves these. They're kind of like um, goldfish, you know, the little goldfish crackers. They're kind of like that, but they're thinner. Honestly, I think these are better than goldfish. They have a better cheesy flavor to them. And I like the fact that they're thinner. They're a little more crunchy than goldfish. They don't have that air in the middle that goldfish has. These are penguins, baked cheddar snack crackers. And they are from Savor It's, which is an Aldi brand. They're baked with real cheese, and they just look like little penguins. And you can get a 6.6 .6 ounce package of penguins for about $1.45. And they have an easy close tab, which I always forget about. I just put a clothes pin on them. You um, peel it back to the dotted line, and then you fold it over the top of the bag and secure the fold with the tab. So it's just a little reusable sticky piece here that you use to fold it down and close the bag up. I just slap a clothespin on it though. I, I don't think about it, but these are really good. If you if you like um, goldfish, which they also sell goldfish at Aldi, they're in the same section. If you haven't tried these, I really think they're, they're, I think they're better than goldfish, honestly. I'm not a big fan of goldfish. It's something about, the, they're puffed out and it's kind of hollow in the middle. And to me, they taste kind of bland. These have a better cheesy flavor to them and they're cheaper than goldfish too. I think they're really yummy. <laughs> and my son loves them. Sometimes I'll get a bag now that I have, now that I know about them and I, cause I've been buying them forever, but I never tried any. Um, but then when I tried them, I said, my God, these things are good. <laughs> so now I try to take them and I'll, I'll get a bag and just hide them somewhere so I can have some because if I don't he'll eat the whole bag and I won't get any oh look there's a little maze on the back you can help the penguin find his friends down here see you get to the little maze of course with this material I don't know you'd about have to write on it with a sharpie marker or it wouldn't stay you could just trace it with your finger I suppose 
But Penguin's Baked Cheddar Snacks, yeah, these are really good. They're not low carb at all, but I mean, they're good. It's not like, oh, 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 that reminds me. If you're doing a low carb diet, I have spotted two new things in Aldi just in the last week or two that I have not seen there before. Now, Savorit's makes uh, Parmesan crisps, but, and, and they're uh, in my store, they're with the snack crackers and stuff. They now have cheddar cheese flavored, uh, cheddar cheese crisps. It's made of cheddar cheese and they're baked into little circles. They have those and um, it's like a five ounce bag. I think it's $2.29. It's not much. But they're like um, Parm Crisps, which is a brand name, but it's a lot cheaper and I haven't tried them, but they're good. And on their seasonal food aisle, they also have some little packets of low carb cookies they kind of like if you've ever tried the high key low carb cookies, they look like they were something like that. They had chocolate chip flavor and snickerdoodle, I think. I think those were the two flavors they had. But again, I haven't tried them, but I just happened to notice that and I wanted to mention that if anybody's doing a low carb diet, you have an Aldi near you. Um, they also have some low carb uh, meal bars, which I'll be honest with you, I did try one and I think it was like a chocolate flavor and I'll be honest I didn't like it but you might like it I didn't like it I didn't think it was very good but um, I do like their little Parmesan crisps they're very good but I haven't tried the cheddar ones yet but they have them um, here's a crinkly thing now this I got I got a couple of packets of these Idahoan Baby Reds mashed potatoes. And this is great because this is enough for one meal. My older son loves mashed potatoes. My younger son, not so much. He just wants a little bit. And I, I don't want a lot, just a little. It's the perfect, it's for the three of us anyway, it's the perfect amount of mashed potatoes for a meal. And with the three of us, we will eat up this whole packet in a meal. It makes four half cup servings. It's 4.1 ounces and it's made of Idaho potatoes. Now this is the Baby Reds flavor. It has homestyle red and russet potatoes with skins perfectly blended with creamy butter. America's favorite mashed potatoes. And they are very good and very quick and easy to make. And I like these little individual packets because they are the perfect size. It looks like olive. These were in the bag with the cat treats, and I think in her excitement, Olive poked a hole in it with her tooth. It looks like she bit this. <laughs> she was so excited about the cat treats. I'll have to put some tape on that. She just bit a hole in it. It's all right. I'll fix it up. She, I didn't even think about her trying to get into the bag to get the cat treats out. It didn't even cross my mind that she might do that. Okay, I think that is the last crinkly thing. This is heavy. And now this right here, it's like Gain laundry detergent, but it's a lot cheaper. You can get this, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, Tandil, Tandil laundry detergent. They have original, and then they have another one that's like Hawaiian something scent. I can't remember what it's called. It, or a tropical island or something like that. It has an orange lid on it. And it's, it smells really nice, but honestly, I think I like this one better. Uh, yeah, so it's from Tandil. It's 64 loads, and this is only $5.49 for this big container of laundry detergent. Um, the gain would be about, not quite twice that much, I would say. But I have been using Aldi's laundry detergent forever, and I have no complaints. I think it works just as well as any name brand laundry detergent that I've ever used, and it's a lot cheaper as well. And like everything else with at Aldi, they have the twice as nice guarantee. So if you don't like it, you return it and they will give you your money back and give you a comparable product. But I like it. I'm not going to return it. Oh, I missed something. Can't forget about this. This is Love and Fresh Classic White Bread. It's a little wonky. I don't know. All the, all the pieces are kind of leaning a little bit. Now, I really enjoy the fact that ever since Lidl opened, 
all these prices went down and stayed down. This used to be 85 cents for a loaf of bread from Love and Fresh. Now it's only 59 cents for this loaf of bread. It's 20 ounces. And you'll see the name is very clever. L apostrophe O-V-E-N. So it sounds like loving, loving, loving fresh. Loving fresh classic white bread. Now they do have other types. They have wheat bread, honey wheat, I believe. They also have a really, really good low carb bread that I highly recommend. They have that on the, in the same section. The, the loaves are smaller and it's more expensive, but for low carb bread, it is very reasonable. I think it's $3.99 for a loaf, which is cheap for low carb bread and it's so good. It's really, really good. Um, and it's also good if you're looking to add fiber to your diet. It has tons of fiber in it. It's really good. It's great for sandwiches and stuff. But for now, I am I have this loaf of bread. And we use this for sandwiches. And I like to make grilled cheese sandwiches. That's a popular thing around here in the wintertime is a grilled cheese sandwich with a bowl of soup. And so I like to have some bread available for that. Now this plastic, it's like the plastic on the bagels from Lidl. It's really thick. This is not quite as thick as the, the bag of bagels, but for a loaf of bread, it's not bad. Now, we do have a bread tie. I've noticed that all their bread ties are khaki colored now. And the bread ties in Lidl are the same color. I thought that was interesting. I know that both companies were started by brothers. I was aware of that. I did, I read somewhere that they split up because they couldn't agree on whether or not to sell cigarettes in their store originally. I think it was something about selling cigarettes. One wanted to sell cigarettes and the other one didn't or something. I don't know. But so anyway, we got two awesome grocery stores out of it. And a lot of people in other countries are surprised to hear that we have Aldi here. We've had Aldi in Greensboro for years. Um, the first time I ever saw Aldi my kids were really little. That was like 10 years ago. We had Aldi here 10 years ago. But look at this. Look at this border. It has a beautiful blue border. And it has the little LF logo for Love and Fresh. And a dark brown stripe in the middle of that border. It's just such a pretty color blue. Look at that. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And you, you're going to see that same blue again down here in this section as well. And it has no high fructose corn syrup and no trans fat. Which if you're eating white bread, you probably don't care. But I mean, I guess that's nice. But yeah, that's what we, that's what we have here. Um, I didn't buy any other bread products. I have hamburger buns and hot dog buns, but I had bought those previously. Now let's see. Oh, this is another favorite. Although I've noticed something in the last few months at Aldi. I'll tell you in a minute. Now this is Nature's Nectar Splash Berry Blend. It's kind of like V8 Splash drinks. And to me, again, kind of like the Doritos. I cannot tell the difference between this and the V8 Splash. To me, they taste exactly the same. Um, this is a little bit cheaper than V8 Splash. It's not a lot cheaper. I think these are $1.69 for 64 ounces of juice. What I've noticed though, see they normally have two flavors. They have the berry blend and then there's another one that's more of a like a, a coral, orangey coral color. I think it has mango in it or something. I've noticed that for the last few months they have not had any of that and all they've had is berry blend because I normally like to get one bottle of each but they haven't had any of the mango stuff in, I would say, probably three months or more. It was the last time I saw it in there. So I'm not really sure what that's about. But, yeah, this stuff is awesome. Um, this is a, a popular thing around here. And they used to have a really good white grape juice. I think they've quit carrying it, though. There's not even a spot for it anymore. Um, they have a lot of cranberry uh, type bottles like cranberry, cran grape, cran apple. They have a lot of that. Nobody here really likes cranberry stuff, so I don't buy it because we don't really like that. It's just so bitter, you know. Um, but it's kind of disappointing that they did away with the white grape juice because that was a favorite here. So I have to get that elsewhere. I like white grape juice too because it tastes just like regular grape juice, but it's not as dark and it doesn't stain 
the carpet if it gets spilled on it. Which now that my kids are older, it's not as big of a concern, but when they were little, yeah, it was a concern. <laughs> now let's see. Oh, there was one other thing from, an, from Lidl I wanted to show you. Oh, that's this. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, I did go down the AOS, the Isle of Shame, which I shouldn't have done. I should have avoided that aisle, but I went down. And I found these cool uh, pants, these ladies fitness tights. And they're from Crane. And I'm always looking for stuff like this. Um, like today, I'm going to work out twice. Like I got up and went to the gym this morning, and then I'm going to my boot camp class later. And so I'm always looking for stuff like this to wear. And these are nice. I really like, look at that pretty blue. They had these in blue, black, and they had one that was like a blue camouflage kind of. It was like different shades of blue, but it was kind of like a camouflage pattern. I just, I got this, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I did buy one. I thought this was one of the shirts. They also had some shirts, but look, it's the same, but it's like a blue camouflage. And these were $9.99 per pair. They have an elastic waistband. Let's see. This one does not have a pocket. Okay, that's different. This one does not have a pocket. I really like the ones that have pockets on them, but these don't. This one does. This one has a pocket. It has a phone pocket, mesh inserts at leg, and an elastic waistband. These are a little softer than the camouflage ones, but these were only $9.99 per pair, and they had them in this blue. They had blue, they had some that were kind of like a plum color, kind of like a dark fuchsia, and then they had this blue camouflage, with it, which I thought was cool. I thought this was one of the shirts. They also had these matching shirts to go with the pants. I didn't get any of the shirts. I started to, but I don't really need any shirts. So I did get the blue camouflage. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm always trying different uh, leggings and stuff. You know, I got a pair of those. I don't know if you've tried um, the Pop Fit leggings. I see them advertised on Facebook all the time. And I got a pair, and I like how stretchy they are. They're really comfortable. No matter which way you bend or stretch, they're very comfy. The only thing I don't like is I noticed that, and you probably don't care, but like I pull them up. They're pulled up all the way, but the crotch comes way down. It's so annoying. It's not that they're too short. It's not like pantyhose. Um, I kind of thought about contacting the company and seeing if maybe the maybe the type I got, just they're just made that way for some reason, but it makes them uncomfortable because it goes down so far and there's really no way to fix it. Like, unless I pull it up to my armpits, I can't, f it's annoying because they're expensive. I got them as a, like a first time buyer or whatever. I was able to get them just for the price of shipping. I think I paid like $10 for the shipping. Maybe the pants were like $5. I think the total was about $15. So the normal price is about $50, which I think is a bit much for pants. But, you know, I was just kind of disappointed in that because the ads make, and they were comfortable except for the fact that, you know, the ads make them sound awesome. And they would be if the crotch wasn't halfway down to my knees, like a pair of pantyhose that's too short. But I had them pulled up. This is when I had them pulled up to my belly button. Like, I can't I can't pull them up any further than that. I'll look like an old man. You know how they <laughs> do their <laughs> pants like that? Like, I can't pull them up anymore. It's just going to be ridiculous. So, and I was constantly tugging at them. I wore them one time, and I just, I probably won't wear them anymore. I just, I don't like the way they fit. It was disappointing. Okay, if that's my worst problem, I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> okay. This is another item that I highly recommend at Aldi. They're batteries. Now they have these in my store up by the front, by the registers. They only seem to have AA and AAA. I don't think I've ever seen C or D batteries except at Christmas time. And sometimes at Christmas time, they'll have the big packs of batteries and they'll have C and D batteries then. But the rest of the year, they only have AA and AAA. These batteries are awesome. They work just as well as Energizer or Duracell or whatever, but you can get a pack of eight in either AA or AAA, and they're only $1.79, and they are awesome batteries. I used them in all my Christmas stuff this year, like all the stuff that took batteries, and they work just as well and last just as long as an Energizer or a Duracell. They're super alkaline, longer-lasting life, 
and its active energy is the name. See, you get eight of them in there. And yeah, they're awesome. They are fantastic. I, I've been using their batteries for years. Um, I don't even think about buying Energizer or Duracell anymore. God, they're so expensive. And they don't last any longer than those. So if you've never tried their batteries, I highly recommend it. But like I said, unfortunately, they don't, most of the year, they don't have C or D. They just have AA and AAA, but it's worth a shot. Okay. Oh, I found this. I, I love cherry almond stuff. They have these little containers of Jergens lotion over with the uh, like health and beauty aids products, like soaps and shampoos and things. They have these little little containers of Jergens original scent lotion, and it's two ounces, and it was only ninety nine cents. And I love to keep these in my car. I keep I usually like to keep a little thing of lotion in my purse and in my car and over where my where I work you know I work from home so I keep one on my desk over there where I work but I thought that was pretty neat a little thing of Jergens cherry almond lotion that's very nice that's one thing I do a lot in the winter time I'm constantly putting on lotion because my skin gets so dry um, here's a here's a crinkly thing Now, napkins we don't use here a lot. I mean, sometimes we do. And I love these Boulder Premium All Occasion Napkins. These are comparable to Vanity Fair napkins. And this Boulder is a brand that you will see on a lot of Aldi products like napkins, paper towels, um, trash bags. I also use their trash bags. They're wonderful. Uh, Ziploc bags, things like that. Little zipper seal little bags, different sizes. There are a hundred napkins in here and they're really nice and it's only $1.49 for a hundred napkins. They are two ply and they are 12.6 inches square. Wonderful allocation napkins. They work for everything. They're a perfect size. Um, I use these sometimes when I'm making sandwiches. I'll just make it and set it on a napkin. Yeah. I picked up a package. It's like just a little cube of napkins from from Boulder. And the Boulder logo always has kind of this blob back here. It's like a soft triangle sort of, and it has some different shades of blue in it. And a little swoop of navy blue. It's very cute. Okay. I am... Um, let me move these. This is one of my favorite cereals right here. Now this is Fit and Active. Now that is also an Aldi brand. They make um, lower fat, lower sugar items. I kind of like diet stuff, I guess. But they make this, this is like Special K with strawberries. This stuff is so good, oh my goodness. I like this better than Special K. I used to buy the Special K with strawberries, but this is better. And look, it's heart healthy which I need all the help I can get. Essential goodness. No artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. No certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. 140 calories per serving. But it's just like Special K red berries. It's crunchy rice and wheat flakes with strawberries. It is so incredibly good. The, the flakes in the cereal are so good. I love them. But this, this is about the only fit and active thing that I buy, but they make all kinds of things. They make like meal bars and snack bars, um, different uh, oatmeal things and different types of cereal, rice cakes and things like that. I think this is the only fit and active thing I buy on a regular basis. You can get this 11.2 ounce box of Vitality cereal with red berries for only $1.99. And it's, it's really, really good. If you like the Special K, I would, def I would definitely recommend trying this one. It's not a lot cheaper than Special K, but I think it tastes better. Now, this is the other thing that I, I bought some of this at Lidl. I bought two boxes of this just to see if I liked it. This is their version, and it's called Active Flakes. And I tried to talk the people in my exercise class into, like, this is what we should call ourselves, Active Flakes. 
they didn't think it was funny. I said, like the cereal. They, then I remembered not everybody eats like I do. <laughs> they would probably, probably never heard of this. I see, you know, like it's, or never mind. But yeah, Active Flakes. So it has the Lidl logo here. So it's basically the same thing, but I already opened a box of it. The berries are good. I like the fact that they have different types of berries. They have uh, raspberries and cherries and strawberries. And the fruit, the little berries are really good. But the flakes to me just taste weird. It's like they're almost bitter in a way. The flakes in the Vitality cereal are a thousand times better. Although they don't have this variety of berries. The flakes in here just taste weird to me. I mean, it's not bad. Um, this is a crispy whole grain cereal with real strawberries, raspberries, and cherries. And I mean, it's basically the same. It's just the flakes are a little different. They're not, it's like they have a coating on them that makes them taste weird or something. I mean, it's okay. I'll eat it, but I like the Vitality. The Vitality cereal from Aldi, I think, is better. And they're both they're both $1.99. Okay. And I happened to go down the canned food aisle, and I thought, I haven't made salmon patties in a while. Maybe we should do that. Because sometimes I, we all just get burnt out on eating the same things. So I bought some Wild Alaska Pink Salmon. And this is from Northern Catch, which is an Aldi brand. Harvest of the Sea. Well, don't tell her that. <laughs> well, yeah, it's really good. Uh, when I make um, salmon patties, it's really easy. Oh, they even tell you how to make salmon burgers. I don't do. I don't add all this stuff like onions and green peppers. I don't do that. Basically, you just take this can right here, dump it in a bowl, and just keep adding egg to it, and just keep mixing in breadcrumbs. I try to mix plain breadcrumbs and Italian, just a little bit of both, and just keep mixing it until you get like a a dough kind of. And then you just take little little bits, you roll it in your hands, you squish it, and you make a patty, and then you put some oil in your pan. And I know people say not to fry in olive oil. I don't care. I've been doing it forever and we haven't died yet, and it's really good to fry it in olive oil. You don't, you don't it's not in there for a super long time. You just sort of brown it in there and uh, then put them, when they're done, you fry on both sides and then you put them on a paper towel and let them and drain, you know, just let them sit there for a little bit. It's basically a meat biscuit, so it tastes like. It's really good. This is the only way you will ever see me eat fish. I don't like fish any other way. I also don't like seafood. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd shellfish, so I, don't, mm -mm. I just don't like the way it tastes. And the one time I tried to eat shellfish, I broke out in a rash all over, so I avoided anyway. But yeah, pink salmon. It's yummy. I think this was $2.29 for a can of that. It's gone up a bit. And then we never eat chili here. Nobody likes chili but me. But every now and then, I just get a hankering for some chili. I don't know. I don't want it bad enough to make it. But I'll buy a can of this Brookdale original chili with no beans. And I'll eat about a half of it at a time. So I'll eat about half and put the rest in the refrigerator. And I'll put some shredded cheese on top and then eat, have some, put some crackers in there. Oh, it's the best thing for a cold day. Just have a nice bowl of chili with some crackers and put cheese in it. Mm -mm -mm. And it comes with a pop top. You can also get this with beans, but I like the one better without. It's a 15 ounce can of chili. Brookdale is, um, I, that is an Aldi brand. There's Aldi on the back. And they also have the twice as nice guarantee. So I might have that later today. Maybe after my exercise class if I feel like it. And this is another item. We made this the other night. My older son asked me, he said, can, can you make something you haven't made in a long time? I said, what? He said, you remember when we were little and you used to make um, I'd get like Velveeta shells and cheese like this and, and fry some, cut up some hot dogs and fry them and put them in there and mix it in. He said, can you make that? I said, really? We haven't had that in forever. So the other night I made some, I bought, I used one of my Cheese Club shells and cheese original boxes. And then I had some hot dogs in the refrigerator. I just cut them and just fried them in a pan. And then when the 
macaroni when the shells and cheese were ready I just mixed them in there and well, that brought back memories I haven't made that since they were small I thought he'd forgotten all about it but you can get this 12 ounce package and it has the shells in here and a little packet of cheese and you just cook the pasta drain it and then mix the cheese in there it's only a dollar 25 sometimes they have it as low as 99 cents and it tastes exactly like Velveeta it's not something we eat a lot but every now and then it's like every now and then we'll have it frequently and then we don't have it for a month or two that's I don't know we get tired of it quickly the only other thing I have to show you and I don't know why it comes in this huge box they had these sports bras look at this now these looked really cool I, I got some from Victoria's Secret the zip like zip up in the front I bought two of them and both of them the zippers have broken on both of them already I'm gonna return them I, I, the zippers are just terrible it's they just don't work the zippers broke like they are literally broken they won't work I was very disappointed in that but they have these they have a lot of fitness stuff right now you know because it's January and but I will tell you what I've been going to the gym and normally in January there are tons of people there really aren't that many people it's really no different from any other month of the year. It's kind of weird. I did not see an influx of people this January that you normally see. I kind of figured there would be, but no, not really. Not, not at my gym. I mean, maybe other people have seen it, but I haven't seen it. But I got this ladies uh, sports bra. Now, they had these in different colors. I got this one in kind of a swirly blue color. Now they have, let's see, a racer back and elastic for a perfect fit. And um, they had like the blue swirl and they had black and I think they had one that was kind of, it was kind of this pattern but it was more like a plum color, sort of like the dark fuchsia, like the pants I was talking about. These, and they have ad adjustable straps. I think these were $9.99 also. I thought I would try that. I don't, just don't know why it comes in this huge box. Look at that. It's massive. There's just one in there. I don't know why it's so big. But I didn't even make any New Year's resolutions this year. To be honest with you, I forgot all about it. I didn't even think about it. Um, I don't even feel like doing it now. So these are, I, I really like these blue ones. These are nice. Yeah. So, well, apparently not many people around here made the resolution to work out more because they're, they're not at my gym anyway, which I, I, I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they joined and just haven't made it back there. I don't know. But anyway, that is, that is everything for my trip to Aldi to get a gallon of milk. This is all the stuff I ended up with. <laughs> That's typical. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you again really soon.